we're at uh, part four, uh, stage four of the process. Okay, what we're going to do is this whole package um, from your full application to everything we put together here, your disclosures, we have your appraisal in. The appraisal looks good to us, but um, in the title work looks good. We have, you know, your loan got registered back here at disclosure time. So the loan numbers on it. We have all your insurance information. We have gathered all this stuff. We have a whole package. We're going to get into the underwriter. The underwriter is going to review it depending on the lender and how much business they have. Underwriting turn times generally are 24 hours and a real bad case is like five, six days. Okay, so um, I've seen real times when lenders get so busy, maybe in a peak part of the season, some of these underwriters, especially if it's a big file, could take up to six, seven days. Um, Thank God I don't work for those companies, but those do happen. And it doesn't mean they're bad companies. I want you to understand that. It just means they're extremely busy or they're short staff. It has nothing to do at how well or how good that company is. So the underwriter is going to go through everything we submit to them. Hopefully it's in great order. Your loan originator or your processor has put everything in a very good order. So in that disclosure, you might have seen a processing fee um, on, on your disclosure. That's what that processor did. That processor is going to earn their work on the loans. Remember, processors, a lot of times, uh, they don't get paid if they're a third-party processor unless that loan closes. Okay, so a lot, a lot of people, why am I paying a processing fee? Because chances are a lot of mortgage brokers or even lenders sometimes use a third-party processing fee, and they want to hire the best processors. The best processors are a little more expensive, so you may see fees anywhere from $600 to $1,400. So it depends on how busy those processes are and how great they are. So expect that. They're going to put a good file together for that underwriter review. And a better file put together for the underwriter means less conditions. So this is where we come. We have an approval. Okay. We're going to get our approval with conditions. Okay. A good file will come back with anywhere from four to seven conditions. That's a good file. Okay, really, really important um, that people understand that there's always conditions coming out of underwriting. Always, count on it. 99.9% .9 of the time, you will get conditions. Okay, there's always something that needs a little tweaking or a little understanding. The underwriter wants to be very clear of that. Okay, so with that, um, the, the loan originator, the processor, they will work with you on getting any conditions from you. Okay, that they need maybe clarification on old addresses that showed up on your credit report or during a national database search. Um, there's some different search uh, engines that underwriters use to look at, oh, maybe, maybe you lived at an address 10 years ago um, and your name somewhere is still popping up on that address. So we want to make sure you still don't own that house because it's going to affect your debt to income ratio or even a piece of land. Remember, you need to tell everybody up front here. Because if you own a piece of land thinking, hey, I own it free and clear, there's no problem. Well, that land just came up in your name. You have taxes, you may have insurance, or it might be in a homeowners association. So that we need all that information. So those conditions, those type of conditions to take five, seven days to clear up. So it's really important. If there's any title issues, that'll be a condition. If there's any insurance issues, that'll be a condition. So any issues with the appraisal, that that'll be those will be conditions. Those are typical type of conditions. Cash in your accounts, moving money around, moving too much money around. So uh, verification of employment that's usually done at this stage. Okay. So a lot of that stuff be you know maybe uh, clarification on your verification employment. Those are standard conditions. Expect them. Now all the conditions are in. You get those conditions in. We get them back into the underwriter. The underwriter's going through them all. They're happy with them. You have no more conditions. Then we can move to stage five.